Binghamton's Classic Rock 99 on the Whale in the Free Zone. I'm Jim Free, joined in the studio by Eddie from the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. Eddie, welcome back, sir. Thank you for having us. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing wonderful. Just finished an exciting homestand and a few days off here and getting ready for the team to be back in town next weekend. Nice. And uh, you brought with you a friend, and it's uh, Jim Willard from the Impact Project. Uh, Jim, how are you? Good morning. It's good to be here. Yeah. And uh, I, I know a little bit about the Impact Project. But uh, you guys just teamed up with the Binghamton Rumble Ponies, and the players were out doing a lot of stuff, huh? We did. Uh, our organization, is, uh, you folks may know, is a nonprofit organization that fixed people's homes. And we had uh, Rumble Ponies, their players and their staff, come out here uh, just last week. And uh, we did some painting. We did a little bit of roof repair. We did some landscaping. Did a lot of, a lot of good stuff to help a homeowner that, in great need in Binghamton. So the players were actually on the roof fixing? That was not happening. No. I was no. going to say, I'm, I'm sure their agents would have been on the phone like, wait a minute, they're all No, on the we roof? had them doing painting and landscaping. We kept it light and easy for those guys. Nice. But still, I mean, you know, they got out and uh, they saw did. what the community they was did. all about. Yeah, and um, you know, we, we it, it was just a really good thing. And we, and we had News Channel 34 there with uh, their staff helping us. We had some people from uh, Binghamton Assembly of God and City Church also there. We had our Impact Project team. So you actually had a really interesting blend of people. Yeah. And we had about 42 people at this house, and we banged everything out and all the repairs that needed in about three hours. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yep. Now, you guys, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, because this is what I seem to remember about the Impact Project, you guys actually started by building wheelchair ramps, right? Or... Well, kind of. You know, the, the whole thing actually started about 15 years ago by accident. Okay. Um, I, I had heard uh, where I live in my hometown in Green, uh, there was this lady that wanted her roof shoveled off of the snow that was building up, and the water was melting and um, she needed some help, and I got together a couple guys, and this is before the Impact Project was ever started, and we went and shoveled off her roof and couldn't do the whole thing because the back part of the roof was all rotted. Long story short, I went in and told the homeowner she was she was pretty distraught because there was water coming in the home, mm-hmm. and at that time, you know, I was, the Impact Project had never been born, as I mentioned, I, I kind of said, look, let me see if we can get some people together, donate some plywood and stuff. So three months later, I actually came back with 103 people. And wow. we did the roof, the, uh, uh, built a brand-new enclosed porch. We redid our driveway. We landscaped. We poured our brand-new concrete sidewalks all in one day. And then at the end of that, the guys and myself that went out and did the roof for the shoveling part in the beginning – Made a pact. We did that, like you put your arms out, that football grunt, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Let's do this once a year and try to help somebody. And we found ourselves three months later doing the same thing for another person. So now I'm standing in front of you here today where it's a full-blown nonprofit organization. We have two offices, one in Green and one in Sherburne, both in Shenango County. But we operate in five different counties. We just finished with the Rumble Ponies last week, our 105th project. We've had uh, 3,553 volunteers. Donate their time to help us in five different counties. Wow, that's so amazing. it is. It, it you know, and it's all about helping each other. I mean, that's it, that's what I can do. Any chance you get to help somebody, it makes you feel good. It, it changes their life because then they they have a whole different outlook and usually yep. pay it forward and help other people. Yeah, so. and the people you know when you're there, you know, and, and Eddie was there on Friday when we helped this this couple that was in great need, and, and it was very emotional at the end. We cut a ribbon at the end. Mm-hmm. We have a little bit of ceremony, and you know, you've made a difference for somebody. And you feel good as a volunteer. Absolutely. And the businesses and the churches and the agency that it partners with us all have the same feeling. So everybody comes out with a great feeling. The homeowner is the most important, obviously. Yeah. Um, but the volunteers and all the partnering people and volunteers, it's, it's just a great thing. And, and you go from one project to the next, you're, you, you can't wait for the next one every yeah. single time because you know you want to make a difference. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Now, if people want to get involved with the Impact Project, how do they how do they find out more? They can they can do this several different ways. Obviously, we're on the World Wide Web. You can go to our uh, website www.theimpactprojectgreen.org. Uh, we're on Facebook. Got our own Facebook page. We got our own Twitter page. You can call our office uh, up in Green, New York, which is six zero seven six five six ninety four ninety nine. We're at four Clinton Street in Green, New York. You can write us a letter up there as well. People come in from all different angles, and you know. Um, or, or whatever. We had friends call in for on behalf of friends or caseworkers calling in, what, what, whatever it takes. You know, we're all privately funded, so, you know, we, we take donations of all different sizes. People are mail, mailing in $10 checks and, you know, big ones as well. And we, we've got uh, hundreds and hundreds of donors and church and agencies. We just pull it all together. Nice. You know, and if you just want to volunteer, there's no skill set. 
Our youngest volunteer today is five years old, and our oldest is 87. So if you fit in those parameters, we'll take you. There you go. I mean, even if you can just push a broom. That is correct. If you can plant a flower bush, you can hold a board, you know, you can serve food because people got to, you know, volunteers got to eat, you know. Obviously, if you're a skilled contractor, you know, um, we'd love to have you, you Mm -hmm. know, because we need that type of individual will that has a skill set, you know, on the type of projects that we're, you know, we're dealing with. But kind of go to your question. Um, we do handicap ramps, mm-hmm. you know, we do roofs, we do heating systems, uh, we do electric, we do plumbing, major home repairs though. We don't put in jacuzzis for people. You know, <laughs> I say that all the time, but you know, we're dealing with the basics that people need to have, you know, yeah. to wake up every morning and have a roof over their heads and heat in their house and water. Right. Awesome. Yeah. It's, uh, Jim Willard from the, uh, impact project, Jim, thanks for coming in. Thank and, you so much. And I'm guessing Eddie, the reason you brought him in is because this coming Wednesday is a uh, it's actually this upcoming Tuesday, the, oh. the 25th. There's a curveball. So, a little curveball there. The 25th, <laughs> uh, the Impact Project's going to be out at 96 Stadium. Uh, Jim's going to be throwing out the first pitch uh, before the game. And uh, as Jim said, you know, log on to their Facebook page, their website. They're fundraising some tickets uh, to come out to the game. And uh, some of those proceeds are going to go back to the Impact Project to help them continue to do all the great work that they keep doing in our uh, local community. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, a, we can call it a We Care Wednesday on we care Tuesday, Tuesday. Right? There you go. <laughs> Take care of me Tuesday. Yeah, there you go. Take care of other people Tuesday or something. Uh, so uh, the Rumble Ponies, weather not quite cooperating. You guys are going to have a lot of uh, double headers to make up later in the yeah, season. Yeah, we, uh, we return home on Friday, um, and this homestand will be home through Wednesday uh, with two double headers in there. So uh, fans on uh, Monday the 24th. And uh, Wednesday, twenty sixth, we we'll get to see two games each day. Uh, but hey, you know what? We're we're uh, battling through. We've had a great season. We have a great team on the field. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun down at the ballpark. Um, so we encourage everybody to come out. Uh, you know, cheer on the team and, and really uh, just uh, get get excited. The summer's here now. Uh, we're we're hoping for the better weather, which we see on the horizon here now that we've hit that summer and schools let now. Uh, so bring down the family, the friends, the coworkers, and. Uh, have a great time in Rumble Town. Yeah, there's nothing better than be hanging out at Nice 68 a.m. on a beautiful night, watching great baseball with a cold beer in your hand. Yeah, perfect. Not, nothing beats it. All right, guys, thanks for coming in. Uh, Eddie from the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and Jim from the Impact Project.